Welcome back, taking a full look at weather now with Chief Meteorologist Dan Sianca. Hey, Dan. Hey there, Veronica. We've got some ups and downs to go through. As we so we in. went up first half of the week. Now we're coming down. Yeah, Will a little we go bit. back up? Well, yeah, even, even tomorrow we might have a little bit of an up before we go back down, down again. But I guess up and down are kind of relative depending on what we're talking about. So <laughs> instead of weird metaphors. Clouds. Just, yeah, clouds. Uh, clouds go up, clouds go down. Yeah, let's just get into your forecast. Here's a live look from Domenico's on the wharf in Monterey tonight. Uh, at the moment, skies are mostly clear. And I mentioned this tonight. I did expect some dry air to move in this evening, which was going to make it hard for the low clouds to thicken up. So, so far, they're still well, barely around. We have mostly clear to partly cloudy skies right now around the bay, and that's about it. Even though for the majority of the day today, we had low clouds on the south and east sides of the bay, we actually have less cloud coverage now than we did mid-afternoon, which is rare uh, when the marine layer is in place um, because at night it's colder and it's easier for a cloud to be in its state as a cloud as opposed to not being a cloud when it's colder out. But since the air has dried out a little bit, it's made it difficult for those clouds to form. We do have some mostly on the east shore of the bay uh, around Salinas up toward Watsonville right now, but that is about it. Otherwise, skies are clear tonight. We still have that northwesterly flow, and that's really not going to change here over the next couple of days. Uh, and it's still gusty in some areas. We're getting 27 mile per hour gusts on the hill above Bixby Ridge right now, and a lot of 20s in the Salinas Valley. So the Salinas Valley Express still chugging this late in the evening. As far as those temperatures are concerned, right now we're mostly in the 50s, 40s, and maybe up in the hills a little bit, but uh, pretty seasonable. Nothing too crazy going on out there temperature wise. And we've seen fairly seasonable, if not slightly cool temperatures here over the last couple of days. So overnight tonight, I do expect eventually by dawn the low clouds to thicken up a little bit. So we will wake up to mostly cloudy skies around the bay and then in the valleys, partly cloudy skies. And of course, those clouds will kind of thin out pretty quickly again tomorrow. Sun Rise tomorrow 5:53 a.m. Just a lot of daylight this time of year. Here's future track. It's showing minimal, at least low cloud coverage compared to what it usually does, which is overdoing it early in the night. Uh, and then as we wake up tomorrow morning, as I mentioned, I do expect some clouds in the valleys and a few clouds on the coast, but not maybe the full coverage we've seen in recent mornings. That dry air is going to stick around for most of the day tomorrow. So I do expect more sunshine tomorrow, especially on the south side of the bay than we had today. And temperatures will be a little bit warmer because of that, but not a lot, uh, even with the increased sunshine, we're still in the marine layer and the winds will still be off the water, so we'll be somewhat cool. And then I'm forwarding this all the way through Friday because I want to show you that Friday is going to be a completely different day. We're going to be back into that May gray and notice the light green color here. The slow lifting mechanism of this trough digging down the coast maybe enough to pull out some moisture. I think we'll see drizzle on Friday morning, maybe even a few sprinkles during the day Friday and then Friday night into Saturday morning. We could see heavy drizzle at times. Now, what does that mean? Well, for the most part, all that means is wet roadways. Um, you might see the uh, gutters dripping a little bit, but this is the computer model showing how much precipitation we could be on that threshold between drizzle and light rain. The difference is really the particle or the uh, size of the droplets. But uh, I mean, if we get the clouds deep enough, we could see that transition to some light rain. So yeah, here we are mid to late May and talking about maybe some light precipitation as we head into the weekend. Temperatures tomorrow before all this happens still in the 70s in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Warm spot Boulder Creek at 78 down on the coast right around 70 in Santa Cruz and Capitola tomorrow. On the east shore of the bay, winds coming in off the water, keeping you in the 60s. Somewhat cool Marina, Castroville, Salinas back to the upper 60s. Same in Watsonville. We'll hit the 70s near Hollister. Maybe 80 tomorrow. Morgan Hill could be the warm spot in the north over to the peninsula. With the increased sunshine, you might be a touch warmer than today, but you'll still have those onshore winds, which will keep you for the most part in the low 60s. And then down south, we'll get away from the coast. That air modifies a little bit. We find 70s and in some cases some 80s tomorrow. So let's look at that seven day forecast. And as I mentioned, tomorrow temperatures up a little bit, but with the increased clouds Friday, we're going to be a lot cooler. Again, patchy drizzle a little bit in the morning on Friday and then late in the day Friday into Saturday morning. And I think it's the biggest time frame when we're going to see some moisture. But then the marine layer gets so deep under the trough Saturday afternoon that we should scatter those clouds out. And with deep mixing in the atmosphere, I actually think it's going to warm up quite a bit on the coast Saturday. And then we'll get back more into onshore flow Sunday and Monday, which will have some low clouds, but fairly seasonable temperatures as we head through the holiday. And for inland areas, it's a little bit of a different story because you're going to bottom out temperature wise Friday and then slowly slide back upward. You're not going to have those ups and downs after that. So inland folks, Memorial Day, if you're heading out to the lakes this weekend, it's going to start off cool down south, but you'll be nice and warm as we head into Sunday and Monday. Back to you. Sounds good, Dan. Thank you.